What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT back at it with another Destiny 2 video. In this video, guys, we are going to have gameplay in the background from the PC beta. And I'm going to be talking about my impressions. Obviously, I played console beta. Now the PC beta is out. It's had some tweaks from the older version of the beta that we played on console. And that is what I want to talk about. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So... First up, let's say the thing looks absolutely amazing, okay? And for those of you guys that are thinking about playing on PC, my computer is an i5 with a GTX 950 and it plays the game on its medium settings with uh, 60 frames per second, no issues. I was streaming at the same time as well. Never did my CPU hit over 40%. So it seems to be a very low CPU usage game, which is a really, really cool thing for people like myself that have a low spec computer. Right, that aside, let's jump into it. The game feels so, so much better playing the PC beta than what we had on console. The movement feels a little bit better. The supers, let's start off with the supers. Like The supers are absolutely incredible. You all remember if you played the console beta that, you know, the supers you may got to a strike if you were lucky. You only definitely got one in a Crucible game and it was towards the end. The changes they have made to supers is absolutely fantastic, okay? You get them so, so much quicker now in PvE and in PvP. I am I am a massive fan. I'm trying to get my words right, but I am a massive fan of the changes they made. And I think you guys on console will enjoy them as well when you get around to playing it. Looking at something else that really did need a big change, and that was the heavy ammo then. The heavy ammo drops an awful lot more, okay? As you will see from gameplay in the background, I was using my heavy ammo an awful lot of the time. So I played the homecoming mission, I went into the strike, then I went into the crucible. Running through the strike, I was using my fusion rifle so often, it was unbelievable. Like yellow bars, yeah, they drop heavy ammo. Half a dozen red bars would drop in heavy ammo for me as well it was just a really nice experience to be able to go through and use my heavy ammo and not just like hoard the ammo until a, a named boss or elite or something came up so that, that's a really really cool change i'm definitely glad that they listened to the community feedback from the console beta implemented the changes for the pc beta so we could all try them out and obviously now kind of report back to them and go yeah we like it, it it's brilliant what should we talk about next? Let's look at the Crucible, okay? The Crucible feels very, very smooth. Now, I was playing on a controller. Controller support, we will get onto in a minute, actually, uh, because that's something worth noting. But, yeah, the Crucible just feels so, so good. I got to play on the new map. The new map looks absolutely incredible. I will upload a full game later on tonight. My first game on, uh, on PC in the Crucible. It was absolutely brilliant. The map is laid out extremely well. I, I don't know what else to say, guys. Like, I'm uh, at the moment. I think I'm just a little bit more in awe of being able to play the game and, and how good it looks and how smooth the the changes feel. I am definitely a, a fan of the changes, as you can probably guess already. Let's talk a little bit about controller support. Then I did just say that a minute ago, but um, yeah. So controller support is very simple. Plug your controller in, and off you go. I was using my Xbox One Elite controller hooked it up by USB, you go into game, and boom, you can you can play with it straight away. There are two different settings when you pull up the settings menu, you have your mouse and keyboard, and you have your controller settings. The controller settings only appear when the controller is hooked up, so I would say, you know, if you're gonna use a controller, definitely go into the settings, bump the sensitivity up an awful lot because it seems to be set extremely low to what you are probably used to on console. So the first thing I did, obviously settings, upped the, uh, the sensitivity for, the look sensitivity and the movement sensitivity as well. It definitely makes it feel a lot better. I'm also very surprised that I wasn't being outgunned as much in the Crucible with a controller as I thought I would be. I've played the Division and things like that, and on PC there is definitely a difference between using controller and keyboard and mouse in, de in, in the beta. It didn't feel like that. Now, whether this is just because the community is obviously new to playing the game um, and the way in which it works, whereas I've been playing Destiny for, for over three years now, um, whether that helps out a lot, a little bit, or not at all, I really don't know. But I just didn't feel at all um, like I was kind of underwhelmed you know if, if I was getting if I was missing all my shots and getting pooped on in every single game which is really really good you know it's nice to know that the option is there if you choose to to use a controller and be as good as you are on console 
on the PC. So if you're swapping over, I, 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 I would definitely recommend using the controller. It's what you've been using for years. Um, you will definitely be at a little bit more of an advantage to those people getting used to the game on keyboard and mouse. That being said, if you're used to using keyboard and mouse, then why not swap over and make the change? If I was any good with a keyboard and mouse, I would probably give it a go. So yeah, I think like that might wrap up my first impressions of the beta. Obviously, I'm going to be playing an awful lot over the weekend. I will report back on different things later on in the week. But uh, I think I'll just wrap it up with saying I'm super impressed with the changes that they made from the console version to the PC beta. I definitely think the community will love it when they can, like the wider community can get their hands on it come September 6th. I think you're all going to love the super changes. You're all going to love the heavy ammo changes. Uh, some of the weapons do seem to have had a little bit of a tweak. Some are a tad more powerful, some not quite so much. The fusion rifle is still exceptionally powerful in the Crucible. It's still very, very good, so bear that in mind. But for now, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you've played the PC beta, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Drop a like on the video only if you see fit. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plenty more Destiny 2 videos coming your way. But for now, Guardians, I'm off to go play some more beta. Have fun. Stay tuned. Look forward to the, uh, the Crucible footage that will be coming later on tonight. And until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.